Hello and welcome to the REL Acoustics how-to video series. In this video, we're going to show you the standard way to connect two RELs with two high-level cables to a set of balanced differential monoblock amplifiers. Now please note, we don't recommend connecting a single REL to monoblocks high-level because it could damage either the RHEL or the monoblock amplifiers. For single RHEL with monoblocks, we recommend connecting low-level. Before we begin connecting wires to your amplifiers, turn them off to avoid the risk of accidentally shorting them and damaging your units. With the amplifier off, connect the black wire on each high-level cable to the chassis ground of the corresponding channel, meaning the left subwoofer's black wire should be connected to the left amp's chassis ground. Use the same configuration for the right subwoofer and right amp. Next, twist together the red and yellow wires on each high-level cable. Then, connect each twisted pair to the positive speaker terminal of the corresponding amplifier channel. You're done on this end of the cable. Check the connections to make sure there are no bare wires shorting between the output terminals. If everything looks clear, you can now turn your amps back on. The final step is to plug each speak on connector at the other end of the cable into the high level input on the rails, making sure the left cable is connected to the left subwoofer and the right cable is connected to the right subwoofer. In some instances, this connection method results in exceptionally high output from the rails. If your rails are too high in output, simply remove either the red or yellow wire from the twisted pair. This will reduce output by half and restore a natural volume level. What is too high? If you can only turn up the rails volume four to five clicks, then it's too high, and you need to follow these instructions. If there is hum coming from your subwoofer, Try removing the black wire and using an LFE slash .1 input as your ground. To do this, connect an RCA cable between an unused preamp output and the LFE slash .1 input on the rail. Then, turn the LFE slash .1 volume all the way down. Keep in mind you'll most likely need to do this for each subwoofer. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe for more REL Acoustics videos.